Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a post office and a post fan. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Make it to the very end of the video to see where we place the post office in the city. This is the amount of space required to make the post office. And here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Begin by placing a blue concrete on the ground. Dig two rows to the right, replace those blocks with smooth stone and then place two blue concrete on the end. Then dig three more rows in the ground extending right, one, two, three, and then place sea lanterns in the hole. On the end place three blue concrete, one, two, three. We then want to place two rows of smooth quartz block on top of every single blue concrete. Then place blue concrete on top of the smooth quartz and connect it across in a long row like this. We then want to place a row of smooth quartz slab in front of the top half of the blue concrete row and just below it as well. Then add black stained glass to the left side of our doorway with an end rod suspended one row off of the ground vertically and then just to the right here fill this window in using black stained glass pane. On the right side of the build begin by extending this blue concrete backwards by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then place 3 stone brick stairs. 1, 2, 3. Blue concrete on the end. Place 2 rows of smooth quartz block on top of our blue concrete and then a row of blue concrete directly on top and across connecting the front and the back together. Then just fill this area in with stone brick stairs. On the back of the build extend this blue concrete to the right by four. One, two, three, four. And then in by two. One, two. And then extend the blue concrete all the way over to the right and line up with the front of the build. We then want to stack two rows of smooth quartz block on top of the blue concrete with a row of blue concrete on top of the smooth quartz. On the left side of the build we simply want to connect the blue concrete rows and smooth quartz rows together front to back. Next we are going to add the interior walls for the post office beginning all the way over in the front right hand corner of the build. Count backwards and find the fourth blue concrete in this row. One, two, three, four. Place a row of four blue concrete extending across from this block. One, two, three, four. Dig one row in the ground. Replace it with oak planks. Place an oak door on top. And then extend a row of blue concrete all the way over to the left. Next we are going to divide the area up once more by placing a blue concrete here, digging in the ground behind it, oak plank behind and an oak door on top. First of all we are going to dig out the smallest area and replace the grass block with smooth stone. You may even want to remove the block underneath the door and use smooth stone instead or keep the oak plank, it's up to you. Then we are going to destroy the ground in the two remaining areas and replace the grass block with oak planks. With a fresh brand new floor we are now able to add details to our walls. First of all place a beehive in this position right here with a birch trapdoor flipped up in front and behind the beehive. We can then 
Place smooth quartz block surrounding the beehive across the top and connecting back to this wall. We can also do the same thing around the door just behind this area as well. Next place a black stained glass above this door here with a smooth quartz block left of it. Connect down. Place two smooth quartz blocks on the opposing wall with black stained glass pane next to the quartz and then extend across the top to the right. Next we are able to form the roof by placing smooth stone slabs half a row below the top of the building so just in front of the lower half of the blue concrete at the top of the walls. Next we will add a wall around the post office. This is made using terracotta extending from the back corner of the build. We then extend the terracotta across to the back right corner, stack another row of terracotta on top, and then we are going to extend this lower terracotta all the way forwards. And we are going to extend all the way to the end of the grid until there are only two rows left, which we will dig these out replace these with smooth stone and then we also want to dig these two rows this one and this one so you can see that this lines up just right of the corner of the building extend these two rows all the way over to the left where we have the smooth stone inside of this doorway dig backwards and then fill all of this in Place an oak leaf extending out of the corner of the building and extend backwards until we hit the garage door. We then want to place a row of oak leaves across the back wall here as well. Next, dig two rows in front of this hedge, connecting to the pavement and place lime terracotta inside of these empty rows. We then want to dig out all of the space in the right side of the grid and replace it with cyan terracotta. We will then dig out the remaining area inside of the grid, replace all of the grass and white concrete with lime terracotta. Next, we will make a post box by placing a polished black stone right here. On top of it, stack a red concrete, and on top of that, a polished black stone pressure plate. We now need to make a banner by throwing down a loom, open it up, grey banner in there with some white dye, and apply the field masoned pattern. Grab that, put that back in with some black dye, and apply the perfest pattern. Throw some red dye in there, and first of all, apply the red bourgeois pattern and then the fest pattern. We can now place this onto the mailbox and there we have it. Next we are going to write out the words post office in banners. So throw in a fresh brand new white banner with some black dye. The first letter we must make is P. So that's the pale sinister pattern. Throw white dye in there and apply the perfest inverted pattern. Put black dye in there and apply the fest pattern. Pale Dexter, Chief, P. Next is O. So, Pale Dexter, Pale Sinister, Chief, Base. Next is S. Chief, Base, Bend. Next is T. So, Chief, Pale. So, we have Post. Next is office, so the first letter would be O, which we have already, so instead we will make F, which is the pale dexter, chief, and then fess. Next is I, so brand new banner, and apply the pale pattern. Next is C, 
So throw in a fresh banner with some black dye and apply the pale dexter pattern, sheath, and then base. And last but not least, we want to make an E. So this is the pale dexter pattern, sheath, fess, base. And here we have post fee. We can take our banners and place them starting from on top of the front left hand corner of the building, P, O, S, T, space, and then O, F, F, I, C, P, post office. So we do also have the option of writing the word mail on a standing sign next to the post office as well. So whether or not you want to do one or both of these, I'll leave the option up to you, but open up the loom. Throw in a fresh brand new white banner with some black dye and first of all we want to apply the inverted chevron pattern. Put white dye in there and do the chief indented pattern. Put black dye back in there and apply the pale dexter followed by the pale sinister pattern. Next we have to make a pale dexter, pale sinister, chief, fess. Last but not least L, pale dexter, base. Now we have Mayal. <laughs> the standing sign is made out of white concrete and first of all we want to find the third lime terracotta extending forwards from this wall. One, two, three, place a white concrete here, extend left, one, two, three, add a layer on top and then in front of this M A I L. Mail. With the entire outside of our post office complete, we are now able to head inside and work on the interior. Across this entire back wall, place bookshelves. In front of the bookshelves, place blue carpet. In front of this small wall, place a crafting table, chest, stack spruce trap doors, paintings, a flower pot, this is going to be tricky without getting a bit of elevation, a flower pot with a sapling in it, and then a lantern next to it. On this wall, we are going to stack a bunch of one by one paintings. Blue carpet in front of this window area. On this open block, place an item frame with a paper inside of the item frame. Behind the counter, we first of all want to stack two rows of bookshelves against this wall. We then want to place a chest, shulker box, cyan terracotta, Anvil on top of the cyan terracotta, spruce trap doors on this wall, cartography table, and then a lantern on top of the spruce trap door, smooth quartz stairs in front of this open window, and finally working our way into the storage area, we are going to stack up a bunch of brown shulker boxes and crafting tables and cartography tables and chests just to look like a bunch of different kinds of parcels. We then want to place a lever next to this garage door with a stone button above it. And that is the entire inside of the post office complete, but we do have one more thing to add before this tutorial is over. So lastly, we will be making a mail truck. My recommendation is to build it on the three center rows of the cyan terracotta area, and I'm going to start mine just behind the mailbox. Place a smooth quartz block. Furnace to the right of it, smooth quartz block right of that. Glow item frames in front of the quartz and a ladder in front of the furnace. We then want to place black concrete powder extending back from each smooth quartz and then smooth quartz behind the concrete powder, black concrete powder behind the smooth quartz and then finally smooth quartz block behind the concrete powder. Dig out the center of the truck and replace it with smooth stone. Place a door on the end here. Next, place a warped stair behind the furnace and then a smooth quartz block behind that. Extend it up. Then place a chest behind the smooth quartz. Then flip down oak trap doors on the sides of the black concrete powder. Place blue concrete next to the door and extend it a row forwards. Then place two smooth quartz block extending forwards as well. Then place black stained glass paint on top of the smooth quartz blocks and the furnace. Blue carpet on top of the glass. Then fill the rest of the roof area in with smooth quartz slabs. On the back of the vehicle place a lever next to this door. And mangrove sides on the sides of the blue concretes. 
Place a lever above the front pair of wheels and acacia buttons on the corners of the van. And that is the van complete. And that is the end of this tutorial ladies and gentlemen but not the end of the video. We must now take out a post office and add it into our city. The post office doesn't have to move very far as we are simply just going to place it next to our pet store. This is going to elongate the street and we are going to have to do some further thinking on how the layout in this part of the city is going to end up. But that's it. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you are looking for more things to add to your cities then look no further than the mini city build playlist down below in the description. Almost 60 tutorials in there for you to enjoy. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Good. Bye.